Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to the Correct Views. Hopped into the Buzzbin Music Shop in downtown Canton, Ohio. Ran into the spoken nerd. First thing I noticed, he does rap that is very organic based. He kind of writes it himself. I'm going to let him tell you about it. Also, I noticed a song about conspiracies that was very independent of the normal political structure, which ties right into this show. So ignore the background noise. There's a party in downtown Canton. Spoken nerd, tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is uh, Nathan Conrad. My music, my music project is Spoken Nerd. It's just me tonight. I'm a rap singer from Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, glad to be here. Glad, thanks for having me. Oh, glad to have you on. Now, I noticed, uh, give us a little bit about the Conspiracy Thong song. That was the one that caught my attention. Well, the one I played tonight is a song called I Wish Those Jerks Had Never Killed John F. Kennedy. And basically what that song is about is just like, First of all, idealism, and I feel like John F. Kennedy was an idealist, and he was someone who very much tried to make a difference. But the other side of it is just kind of like someone who tried to do some good and was assassinated, and the fact that people still to this day claim that there was no conspiracy to, behind that. I'm not the first one to like jump on board on, on a conspiracy theory, to be honest with you. But my thing is, like, if you actually believe what the Warren Commission says happened, I, I mean, I, I, I really don't even know where to start with you because it's it, it's like that is the biggest crock of crap I've ever heard. I mean, you know, the bullet going through him into the other guy, the magic bullet thing. I mean, that's that's silly. I noticed like, you were talking about vaccines. I mean, I I mean, do like you think the, the whole one world government was something that he was warning against? Way, and do you think that led to his uh, execution? Or his I, I don't think it was that. I, I think it was a number of things, though. Um, I, I think it had more to do with the Federal Reserve, but I don't, I don't claim to have a very good explanation of what happened. I just know what didn't happen, and that's what they say happened. When is it ever going to be? Gotcha. He's doing an interview here. Oh, no problem at all. Uh, I wanted to ask you, now that you're on tour, when, when, uh, um, when this is being posted May 3rd, 2013, where are you going and when can people hear what you do? Well, uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to Pittsburgh for a wedding, so sorry, but I don't have any more in invitations for it. It's not my own wedding, it's a good friend of mine's. But uh, for Pittsburgh, I, I play a house show in Mansfield, Ohio on Sunday. And then that's actually the last show of our tour, so, or my tour. I've been out for a month, and uh, I go out again in July with uh, Mike, Michael Hill from the Thought Criminals and uh, a couple other fellas. So that that would be a good one to catch some shows on, but I think it's mostly Northeast. So, but if you go to SpokenNerdLovesYou.com, I post the dates as soon as I get them on everything. Two more questions. I noticed your rap was a lot different than other artists. Uh, for first and foremost, you're not into the whole shoddy racial slur followed by vulgarity thing. And lastly, it sounded different. Um, better than me explaining it, how, how do you feel that your rap differs from a lot of what people hear and may think that they don't like about that? Yeah, I, I think that the best kind of music for people is, is always pop music. Because what? But but now hear me out, like. What I do is pop music is going to be very different than what you do, and definitely a lot different than what like Katy Perry would do. So I like it when strange people make pop music. So basically, you're making a song to the best of your abilities, and and it, it, it becomes unique because maybe it's it's not the most natural thing to you. Um, my writing process, like I generally, you know, I come up with ideas like things that I want to rap about or or things that I want to say or things that that need to be said and uh, I, I generally take a guitar or a bass guitar mostly bass and like just write a, write a ditty and then I take it into my uh, my producer and we just and then we build from there so um, that that's kind of how we work on my, my favorite last question if you could say anything to anybody at all that everybody watching this is gonna get to hear anything you want to say to the whole world about anything what would it be it's a lot of pressure um, <laughs> well guys I, I love you and uh, and you know 
I just say if you work real hard and try your best, things will probably work out for you. Stay honest, stay true to yourself, stay true to your dreams and your morals and what you're really about. Don't get caught up in all this mess. Thanks. All right, everyone, thanks for listening to The Correct Views. Check out The Spoken Nerd. I was very impressed. As you know, regular viewers, I'm in an industrial band and I'm hyping a rap project here because it was that good. Thanks for listening to The Correct Views, friends. Good night and God bless.